Hi there, I'm Dave Taylor, and after all that walking, uh, we've come to the spot where I believe John Wilkes Booth had his oil well here outside of Franklin, Pennsylvania. And there's a lot of confusing research that's gone into me deciding that this is the spot, or at least as close to the spot as I can get. It really comes down to in 1864, at the end of 1864, when Booth is divesting of his oil interest, he gives his brother Junius Brutus Booth two-thirds of his interest in, this, in the uh, oil well here and the land around it. And so he has to deed that over to his brother and there are detailed recordings about where it was. And upon it, it said that on one side it was bounded by the Allegheny River. On the other side, it was bounded by the public road, which is still right up there and still the same road today. And that it was bounded from the north by a man whose name was Mervyn, who owned property in the north. And from maps, we know that is directly in front of me. And that behind them, they were bounded by a property by the name of a man named Stewart. And so putting all those pieces together and knowing he only had three and a half acres when he was a part of it, this area, which is literally right across the river from Franklin, which is what all of the records say, that his place was right across from Franklin. Um, and there's Franklin right there. And when we went further down, we really weren't right across from Franklin. I believe that this was the spot that John Wilkes Booth's oil well, the Wilhelmina, stood. Uh, there's nothing left of it today, but if you ever come out to Franklin and take the Allegheny River Trail and start walking south, um, look out the river and know that Booth was trying to drill for oil here and he didn't have much luck.